Hello, this is the Bible in Fewer Words. We are Carol and Steve Wells. This is episode 109, 1 Samuel chapter 17. If you enjoy this podcast, consider supporting us at patreon.com forward slash bfw. Hi, Steve. Hi, Carol. Um, today's kind of a big one. Should we just get into it? Sure. Great. Chapter 17. The Philistines and Israelites gathered their armies on mountain tops, separated by a valley between them. When I read the words mountain tops, I think God does not like mountain tops. Why do you say that? Well, because he's always saying, you know, cut off the mountain tops or people go adore their gods on mountain tops and mountain tops are kind oh, of yeah. bad places okay. for people to be. Yeah, yeah, right. Um I think there might be something to that. That's where they had their groves up on, on yes. mountains, I guess. Um, but, you know, God did reveal himself originally to Moses on a mountain, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, so it's, it's a little confusing or contradictory. Yeah. I, I'm not sure I would make too much of that. But here, what we have are the two armies, one on one mountain and one on the other. And it looks like maybe they're close by where they can actually see each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they see the people on the other side. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking with the valley in between. And But they can't yell at each other. It's too far for that. I don't know. I'm okay. not sure about that. <laughs> okay. Because we're going to have some yelling going on. Yes, we are. Yeah. Okay, so verse 4. Goliath was the Philistine champion whose height was six cubits and a span. That I don't have a sense of how tall that would be. Yeah. Well, a cubit is the distance between an elbow. Uh-huh. And the end of a fist. Oh. I think on like an average size man. Okay. Something like 18 inches. And a span is the distance between the thumb and little finger when they're fully extended. Okay. So maybe nine inches, something like that. Mm-hmm. And so Goliath would be about 10 feet tall. If All right. That's right. And this is the first we hear about Goliath, right? They're just saying yeah. Goliath was a Philistine. Right. He's and... just showing up, big guy. Yep. Yep. He's their champion. Okay. <laughs> He's their guy. He had a brass helmet and a coat of mail that weighed 5,000 shekels and spearhead that weighed 600 shekels. Yeah, it's easy to convert this if you remember that a shekel is weighed about 10 grams. That would be 50 kilograms, mm-hmm. so maybe 130 pounds. And that would be the chain mail. That's, yeah, that's how much vest. his armor weighed, I guess. Uh-huh. And then he had a spear that weighed 600, so that would be about 6 kilograms, uh, 14 pounds. Okay, so kind of a heavy outfit. Yeah, He'd have to have a pretty strong armor bearer. Yes, and, and a pretty strong arm to carry 15 pounds. With it, yeah. And an extended arm. Or to throw it, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. All right, so a big, a tall, and strong guy. Yep. Goliath cried out to the armies of Israel. This is where he's screaming across the mountaintop, I think. I think so, yeah. Saying, choose a man to fight me. If he kills me, we will be your servants. But if I kill him, you will be our servants. When Saul and the Israelites heard Goliath's challenge, they were afraid. I would be too if I were them. So Goliath challenged the Israelites every day, morning, and evening for 40 days. 40 days. So I guess he did it after breakfast, after lunch, and after (laughs) dinner. (laughs) Yeah. He probably had a little thing to remind him. A little... Time to eat. This is Time dessert. to talk to the Israelites again. <laughs> so for 40 days he did that. That's... You would think it wouldn't take 40 days to get the message across, but he did. Yeah, well, I don't want to do it. Do you want to do it? I don't want to do it. <laughs> um, so Jesse said to David, Okay, now, Jesse and David, are they there on the mountaintop? Oh, no. Yeah, this isn't explained very well. Jesse said to David, Jesse is the father of David. Okay. So David's father, Jesse, says, Take some grain, bread, and cheese to your older brothers who are fighting the Philistines in the Valley of Elah. Mm, So maybe David is out tending his sheep. Yeah, I think he was left behind because he was just too young. Yeah. Okay. When David arrived, he met his brothers. And then Goliath showed up. All the Israelites were afraid of Goliath and ran away. (laughs) <laughs> I guess they did that every day, morning and evening. They, yes. they heard him and they just ran away. Then they'd come back and hear him again, ran away. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so David asked the Israelite soldiers, What is the reward for killing this uncircumcised Philistine? The soldiers said, The king will give him lots of money and his daughter for a wife. Eliab, David's older brother, said to David, Why did you come here anyway? Why did you leave your sheep? I know your pride and the naughtiness of your heart. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? Well, David was proud and he did have a naughty heart. <laughs> <laughs> so he kind of wanted to show off. Like, hey, I might be able to be helpful here, and I want everybody to think I'm so cool and great. Yeah, he knew his brother. Okay. It was sort of like, remember with Joseph? You know, Joseph was the one, the favorite, the youngest oh. son, and and then the, the, the other brothers hated him. I think it was kind of the same way with David and his older brothers. Uh-huh, probably. When Saul heard about this, he sent for David. Okay, so where is Saul? I don't know. He's there somewhere. <laughs> and he heard David talking to the soldiers. I don't know. I guess he kind of hears stuff. Uh-huh. You know, a lot of things that are going on. He heard about it anyway. Yep. So he sent for David. When David arrived, he said to Saul, Don't be afraid. I'll fight the Philistine. <laughs> <laughs> Saul said to David, You can't fight this Philistine. You're just a kid. He's been a man of war since his youth. David replied, When I was watching sheep, a lion and a bear took a lamb out of the flock. Together you think the lion and the bear were working on it? Hey, yeah, you distract the shepherd. I don't think they shepherd. hang out together too often. <laughs> Maybe it was one time it was a lion and another time it was a bear. Uh-huh. Not clear from the Bible verse. And I chased after him, grabbed him by his beard, and killed him. Hmm. I killed the lion and the bear. I can do the same to this uncircumcised Philistine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah. Saul said, okay then, go with God. So Saul put his own helmet and armor on David. <laughs> and David was crushed to the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, that doesn't say that last part there. So he put his own armor and helmet on David. But David said, I can't use these. I'm not used to them. <laughs> yeah, he's not used to them. Well, they would be much too big for him. Because remember, Saul was... A big guy. A big guy. He's about a foot taller than every other person in Israel. Mm-hmm. And I think David was just a little kid. Yeah. So David took his staff, a sling, and five smooth stones that he found in the brook and headed off to meet Goliath. Goliath was surprised that the Israelites sent David to fight him since David was just a good-looking kid. <laughs> Does it say that in the Bible, Steve? Okay, so what it says was, he was but a youth and ruddy and of fair countenance. Oh, fair countenance. Yeah. Yep, that could be translated to a good-looking kid. Mm-hmm. So he said to David. <laughs> Goliath said to David, I'll feed your flesh to the birds and beasts. And David replied, You come at me with a sword, spear, and shield, but I come in the name of the Lord. God will deliver you into my hand, and I'll kill and cut off your head. I'm sure Goliath is thinking, yeah, (laughs) Yeah, right. right. (laughs) (laughs) Then I'll give your carcass to the birds and beasts, so that the earth will know there's a God in Israel. When Goliath came near, David slang a stone into Goliath's forehead, killing him instantly. You know, Steve, when I think of this story, I think there's this huge battle going on. He does one hit, one blow, and the yeah, other guy does another Yeah, it's not like on the, and... in the movies, right? Where the, the battle just goes on forever. And yes. So, and it's, he gets down and he gets back up. No, just he slung a stone, hit him in the forehead. That's it. And he died. And are they fighting like down in the valley or up on the mountain top? I picture them in the Valley of Elah between oh, okay. the two mountains. Okay. And so everybody's there watching him. Yeah, I think so. So then he took Goliath's sword and cut off his head. You know, you'd think then the Israelites might think, all right, let's go help this kid out here. But no, he goes, <laughs> takes Goliath's sword and cuts his head off by yeah. himself. When the Philistines saw that Goliath was dead, they all ran away. The Israelites chased after them, killing them along the way, while David brought Goliath's head to Jerusalem. Jerusalem? Yeah, Jerusalem doesn't really exist yet. <laughs> it's one of the problems with this story is that, of course, it was written many centuries later. Yes. Jerusalem at the time didn't exist, or at least it didn't exist according to the Bible. We'll find out later that David actually founds the city of Jerusalem. Oh. Before that, it was called Jebus. 
Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, he went to, I guess, Jebus uh, with Goliath's head, but they're calling it Jerusalem here, but mm -hmm. it wasn't called Jerusalem until later. We'll see that later when we okay. get there. Okay. Um, when David left to fight Goliath, Saul said to his captain, okay, so we're going back in the story now? I think so, yeah, but I mean, you see, this is verse 55, so it's after all this happened. Yeah, So I dead. can't explain it. It's <laughs> bad storytelling, but here, that's what we got. Um, Saul said to his captain, Abner, who is this young man? Abner said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, both Saul and Abner know who he is, though, right? Well, I, Saul certainly does, because yes. in the last episode... They got to know each other really well, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. They really liked each other. They were good friends. Yeah. Saul really liked him. He was the one that could play the harp for him so that he would get out of his... Uh, when the spirit, When the evil spirit from the Lord oh, was troubling yeah. him. Yeah. So, yeah, they know each other, but not in this verse he doesn't. I mean, right now. Maybe Saul is having some memory issues. Okay. He was troubled. He, he had some psychological problems. Yeah. So maybe he just couldn't remember. So when David returned after killing Goliath, Abner brought him to see Saul. David was still carrying Goliath's head. <laughs> Maybe he said, you can leave that outside. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid and I caught my first really nice sized fish. Uh -huh. I just carried that thing with me everywhere. I mean, I put it under my pillow when I was camping. I think it's kind of like that. Okay. Saul asked David, who are you? David said, I'm the son of Jesse. Yeah, I'm the son of Jesse. Well, Jesse has eight sons. That's not very, you know, why not just say I'm David? <laughs> I'm David. I'm David. Never. You know the guy that played the harp that made you feel better? For you, yeah. In the last, <laughs> that's me. last chapter? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, well, that's kind of a weird ending here. Yeah, it's not really a very exciting story. No, like when I think of that story, I mean, everybody knows this story. Everybody knows this story. It's, a, it's one of the most famous stories in the Bible. It's really one of the, there's a lot. Better, more exciting, interesting stories in this, I think. Yes, even the wrestling. Remember that? Well, yeah, when, when uh, Jacob is wrestling with God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's kind that of exciting. Fun. Yeah. Um, so this one really is, he takes a rock, hits that's it. That's Goliath it. in the forehead, mm -hmm. and he dies. And we're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, then he cuts off his head and carries it around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess it's kind of exciting that there's this huge giant and this little guy. That's really what that's we That's the point. Yeah. yeah. That's the point that everybody gets today. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so famous, because it's a nice story to tell kids. And yeah. maybe, I don't know, it's kind of gross where he's cutting his head off and yeah. carrying it around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Okay. Hey, well, thanks for sharing that with me. Sure. And listeners, thanks for sticking with us. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.